six years in running, yeah, and yeah, you yeah. are a uh, you are planning to continue that, right? Because I see that you're looking to open at least three new projects within the next five years. Yes, I, I, you know, I think the, the last six years have been significantly strong in growth, but we are forecasting an increased production again next year. I think the most important thing is, uh, is the growth in cash and dividends without compromising you know, our, our long-term ability to invest in our own future. So all the aspects of a, of a successful strategy and, and demonstrating that we're able to invest in this in what is always going to be a cyclical market. Mark, can I just come on? It's Guy. Good morning. Can I just come on and talk a little bit more about that? Raising the divvy by 52% is a fairly punchy thing to do. Um, uh, is this cycle going to be different, do you expect? Do you think miners such as yourselves are going to go, yes, we can invest in our businesses, yes, we've got enough cash flow to be able to do that, but actually this time around we're not going to invest as aggressively? I, is this going to be different for everybody? No, I, I, I think a lot of people are still trying. You know, the, the industry is ex-growth, guy, and that's driven by the fact that uh, we did such a bad job um, uh, in, uh, in, in managing and delivering value through the super cycle. You know, one of the pointers I always highlight is that, you know, Rand Gold's done very well. A lot of other companies uh, in the top sort of 12 miners, gold miners, did very well in 2016 as far as share price growth goes. But there are only two gold miners in the top 12 that are above their share prices of 2005. And of course, Rand Gold Resources is one of them. And so, you know, it's, it's all very well looking at, you know, the, the, yep. the short term performance. But this is a long term game allocating long term capital. And I think what we've demonstrated is, you know, last year we, we increased our dividend. We said we're comfortable with our profitability. We had a fairly uh, aggressive payout ratio. This year, you know, we delivered on that, and uh, you know, and, and we've we've announced uh, some you know significant projects. Uh, you know, the pushback super pit at Kaba at uh, Goncotto is a significant uh, new project with uh, very significant commercials, and uh, and likewise, if Masawa continues the way it is, it will be our first of our promised three mines in the next five years. So, you know, the and we're still forecasting at, you know, these gold prices to be, yep. you know, uh, have a much stronger cash position in a year's time after investing the 300 odd million dollars of forecast capital for the year. So, so I think we, we would argue that we're much in a much bigger uh, a much stronger position than most of the industry. We've never impaired, we've never Mark. cut capital, and you see yep. all those, the industry's undercapitalized at the moment. So, you know, it yep. is an uncharted horizon, I Mark. believe, for our industry.